I own a rather obscenely large quantity of crap. And what do you generally do when you own a rather obscenely large quantity of crap and you have nowhere to store it? You pick yourself up a storage unit. That's what you do. I've had this for several years now, but one thing that I've noticed lately is that it's quite damp. It wasn't like that last year, but I'm wondering if maybe the crappy winter that we're having has kind of contributed to it. When one has a damp space that they're looking to make, well, not damp, one would turn, naturally, to a dehumidifier. But there's one problem. Dehumidifiers, at least the traditional ones, require electricity. The space that I have in mind does not have electricity. Well, accessible anyway. Obviously there's lights and things, but there's no power outlets to plug something into. So that has brought me to this, right here. Pull that out. This is a powerless Wenko brand dehumidifier. And you can see areas that it's meant for. There, I guess, is 80 cubic meters. I'm not sure if that's the water carrying capability or if that's the room. I don't remember what the uh, what the room size capability of this thing is. But as you can see, it uses calcium chloride. So I thought it was calcium carbonate, but no, it's calcium chloride. The design of this thing is kind of weird. I don't know what the deal is with this. This this seems kind of odd to me, but it seems to be normal. And I, the reviews of this thing were not particularly bad, or at least most of them that I saw were not bad. But I really kind of wonder if it's just another one of those similar devices to that up there. In that, yeah, it does work but it doesn't work very well when you expect it to work in a large area. Now, the area that I'm thinking about is about 10 feet square, 10 feet cubed maybe. I don't really know. I don't think it's 10 feet cubed. I think it's a little bit bigger than that, but certainly 10 feet square plus whatever volume. But uh, having said that, I'm going to give it a try. And if it doesn't work, well, I can at least say that I tried. It wasn't particularly expensive, so I'm not going to feel too bad. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull this off here. That goes flying. I didn't really expect it to do, but, you know, there you go. See if I could pull a top off of that. All right, so here are the instructions. Seems to be primarily in German, but there is certainly some English. Not quite correct. You can go ahead and pause the video to read that if you wish to do so. So here's a little basket that the block, which you can see here, happens to sit in. So, the instructions say to leave the protective foil on it until you want to actually use it. So that is precisely what I'm going to do. Now, I don't know if there's only one way to put this in. It looks like there is. So, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll throw that in there. And, uh, now this thing taking everything out of the base there, should basically be ready to go. Alright, so we're on location now, and if there was ever evidence that I own too much crap, this probably is it, but that's not the point, so you don't need to comment on that. I've brought it here, and yes, I did bring this with me, even though I suspect I probably won't be using it for a while. It says, allegedly, that the cube inside here should last three months. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere for this. 
that is hopefully both of not going to be in the way and get run over when I move this thing in and out and also is going to actually do something. Okay, for lack of a better place to put it, I'm going to go ahead and set it there. I thought about putting it here, but I think it's a little too big for there. And I don't want to put it on one of these because invariably it'll fall over. Putting it back here, again, invariably it'll fall over. So what I have to do now is take this out of the package. Hopefully they've made that easy, but if not, I did bring scissors with me. Probably should have brought gloves too, but I didn't do that. Well, I'm telling you, it's a good thing I brought the, uh, <laughs> the scissors because um, I thought there was a deliberate weak spot on the bag, and it turns out there is not. What this basically is, and so far as I know, I'm just making sure that I didn't leave something in there, like a piece of cardboard or something, is it's basically a giant block of salt. So whether or not this is going to work, I really couldn't tell you, but I'm certainly going to try it. And I guess in a couple months, we'll see what the verdict is. I'd imagine it'll probably do a little bit more in the summer months. I also probably should be doing a little bit more in here by getting rid of all the stupid cardboard boxes and replacing them with plastic ones because the cardboard boxes really don't really don't uh, do do any of this stuff any favors with respect to water infiltration they feel kind of damp they're not terrible like, it's not too bad but some of them are not really good either like this one in particular and I think some of the problem is also the fact that because it's the middle of winter you track in snow but uh well, and I'll put the lid on this, and I'll let it sit here and do its thing, and stay tuned in the future, because there will almost certainly be a video about this, once I've figured out how well or how well it doesn't work.